beautiful jumper. I like it. It's yes, so yes, thank you. <laughs> homage to Jill. <laughs> thank you. I was going to the room and I was going to go, ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this show. I loved your portrayal on the show. It's such a beautiful, there goes my nose. <laughs> Today's a good day. <laughs> so anyway, um, what did the real Jill who plays your mom on the show, what kind of stories did she tell you about the period? So she told me a lot. She, she lived in the Pink Palace. They lived in this flat. It was in Primrose Hill. They had the house parties. They had the pink walls. They had the pink furniture. Um, they, they used to kind of go out and go clubbing and dancing. She had all these friends, these, these gay men in her life. She worked in the West End uh, community. She worked for a set. She worked in this on stage in a West End show, and um, she'd she'd go to kind of the AIDS the gay uh, switchboard. She'd do all the marches um, for AIDS charities, and just kind of having her on set with all this inspiration and this amazing, all these amazing kind of personal stories that she would tell us. It was so inspiring, and I didn't do any kind of take any kind of character prompts from her but just knowing that she was there and she lived through it and this was her story and and all the fun they had and all the joy they had it was just so refreshing because because you think of the time and you think of oh my gosh loss sadness devastation but it wasn't any of that it was fun it was lively there was sex there was parties there was color there was dancing and that's what the time embodies it's it's that joy and that's what we try to come across on screen that friendship and that 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 joy really not because everything else just kind of it plays in the background it's very easy to is that that stuff that tells the tale itself but what what we wanted was was the friendship and that to come across on screen and, and the love um so so yeah jill helped me kind of get into that and kind of understand more about the time oh and a lot of people point to the seafront scene towards the end as their favorite and most powerful scene. But I love the scenes, the group scenes, the party scenes, the scenes where you're singing with Ollie. So did you have a favorite moment shooting? Yeah, so those scenes, the singing scenes I was the most nervous for because obviously Ollie is an international pop star. I am an actress, so I was confronted with this international pop star who just performed at Glastonbury and I saw him in Glastonbury and, and I just was so nervous and I was sitting in the, we were, the day before the read through we had a rehearsal in a music studio in a music room and I was kind of playing, singing my song from the French Revolution and Ollie Alexander walks in and I'm like, he's here, oh my gosh, and I'm mid song. So I'm like trying to keep in tune and Ollie walks in and I obviously I'm just super nervous and I don't know what to expect and the moment I met him I just fell in love he's so sensitive and kind and gentle and I told him I'm so nervous and he was like there's nothing to be nervous about I'm nervous to meet you and just then just in that moment I was like you are so beautiful and we started singing and within an hour all the directors and the producers and Russell no actually Russell wasn't there but the producers and the writer so, um, producers and director came down and to, to watch our, us perform and they were like you guys you have great chemistry and we were just like here we go and some of those singing scenes was, was filmed within the first two weeks of, of a five month shoot I was kind of like okay it's fine I've got time to warm up every, every singing scene was the first week of shooting so I was like great get it over with okay here we go so we did we did all them and they were so much fun to shoot because we just the songs are great, the costumes are amazing, and we just tried to have as much fun as we could. Um, and yeah, it really shows their friendship between Richie and Jill, just that like that like duet, they're, they're a duet throughout the, every episode, they go back to each other. And Russell actually said an amazing kind of quote to us, well, he, he said to us um, during the rehearsal week that this story, if anything, if, if there is a love story in this story, in this whole five episodes, it's the love story between Richie and Jill. And that's why I want people to take away that love story till the end. Um, and yeah, so, so doing that was gorgeous. And I read that you had little dance parties in your trailer before you we shot. We did. We had dance parties in my trailer, which has now gone viral. And everyone thinks <laughs> I... <laughs> Everyone thinks I summoned all the boys and held them at gunpoint, um, which I almost did because I, I was like, guys, come into my trailer right now. So I'd bring them all in and um, we put on, we all select our favorite 80s tune. And it was just a time for us to really 
feel good, get those kind of happy hormones flowing, vogue, catwalk, feel your best self, feel comfortable, feel confident, feel comfortable in your skin and perform and, and just have fun. And then we put it on Instagram and everyone kind of loved it. So then we did it every day. And, and yeah, it was just when we were shooting some really sad scenes, especially some of the scenes in the AIDS wars, it just, it just brightened up our mornings and it just, it, it gave us just, just, it just reminded us of what, what it was like to live during that time and how amazing the music was and how fun these, these lives were. So now I need to know what was your favorite 80s tune? <laughs> so I have two. My first one is Gwen McCrea, All This Love That I'm Giving, because Jill just has so much love to give. Um, although it was made in 1979, but it was very popular in the 80s, so I'm claiming it's 80s. And then I have Luther Vandross, Never Too Much, which just gets me going at any time of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and so as a Canadian, I have to ask, your next film is with Celine Dion. What was it like acting with her? Yeah. <laughs> Celine oh my gosh I forget yeah so Celine I didn't sadly I didn't meet her but <laughs> we didn't get any scenes together and it was kind of very COVID restricted so um so she she shot most of her work her scenes away um and yeah I, it, she's she's amazing she's playing herself and um it's a gorgeous film about love and kind of overcoming grief and trauma to get to the other side and feeling those feelings to try and to try and love again and we have Priyanka Jonas who is an absolute queen and Russell Tovey we're reunited playing best friends music journalists and then the gorgeous Sam Hewen um and uh, yeah it's a star-studded star-studded cast and Celine is in it which is an iconic moment for me <laughs> <laughs> and so what have you been watching lately I'm curious so I actually love Amazon's The Wilds I am obsessed with it. It is yes. so good. Um, I just, I, I'm on episode six and I just really want to know what happens. So I find it so, so interesting. The actors are gorgeous. I love that it's like so many young, strong women in, in these lead roles. It's just beautiful and beautifully shot. Very interesting. Um, and in lockdown, uh, kind of over Christmas, I watched 96 episodes of Sex and the City. So I started Sex and the City and I finished it within two weeks. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> it's good comfort watch, I gotta say. It's amazing. I, I was so angry. I was I found myself being so annoyed at Carrie. I was like, no, Carrie, Carrie, don't do that. And then I just had to remind myself that it was it was made 20 years ago and they're fictional characters. <laughs> <laughs> But I love it. Oh. It's brilliant. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, I know you have two big projects coming up, so I can't wait. I think you're incredible in this project. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this work. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.